practice exercise 4 of time speed distance funda book let's go through the questions question 3 after traveling 30 minutes a train met with an accident and was stopped there for 45 minutes due to the accident the speed reduced to two third of its former speed and the train reached its destination 1 hour 19, 30 minutes late had the accident occurred 60 kilometers after the point it had occurred earlier the train would have reached 30 minutes earlier what was the length of the journey let us first draw a schematic diagram to understand the data given in the question a train is going from let's say point a to point b after traveling for 30 minutes okay, let us assume the train covered this distance in 30 minutes the train met with an accident and stopped there for 45 minutes. So it met with an accident at this point, let's say X. Due, and it stopped there for 45 minutes. So it was, it had a stoppage of 45 minutes out here. Okay. Due to the accident, its speed reduced to two-thirds. So after the accident, it went at the speed which was two-thirds the original speed. So if the original speed was s, the new speed becomes two, th two by three of s. And it reached its destination 90 minutes late. Okay, it was late by 90 minutes. So plus 90 means delayed by 90 minutes, one or 30 minutes. Had the accident occurred 60 kilometers after the point, let's say the accident had occurred not at x but at y. And the distance between x and y is 60 kilometers as per the question. The train would have reached 30 minutes earlier. That means it would have been laid by 60 minutes only. Okay. Earlier it was laid by 90 minutes. Had it been 30 minutes earlier, it would have been laid by 60 minutes. So this is the data given to us. Now let us see what should be the additional thing we should be clear about. First of all, there was a stoppage of 45 minutes after the accident here so there should be a stoppage of 45 minutes and after the accident here also okay. so there's a stoppage after accident the speed after accident is 2 by third of the original speed so the speed in this stretch also is 2 by 3 s if the original speed is s the new speed is 2 by 3 s yeah. with this data in mind and again remembering that speed is inversely proportional to time let us try to solve this question Okay, the first thing which we need to be clear about is that the, the delay on account of reduced speed over this distance is 90 minutes and the delay due to reduced speed over this distance is 60 minutes. That means the delay on account of this 60 kilometers due to reduced speed is 30 minutes. So 30 minutes of delay is on account of reduction of speed over this stretch. Why? Because over this stretch the, de the delay is 60 minutes. Over the entire stretch, the delay is 90 minutes. So this particular stretch, the delay should be 30 minutes. Secondly, speed has become 2 by 3 times. That means time taken should become 3 by 2 times. So if originally the train was taking, let's say, t minutes or t hours to cover this particular stretch, at the normal speed, if the train was taking, let me assume, t minutes to cover this stretch. That means now the train will take 3 by 2 t to cover this stretch. Why? Because the speed has become 2 third. So time taken should become 3 by 2 times. Which again means if the normal time is t and the new time is 3 by 2 t, the increased time is 3 by 2 t minus t which is t by 2. This is the delay. So the delay is 3 by 2 minutes and we also know delay is equal to 30 minutes. Which implies that the normal time for the train was 60 minutes okay. or the small stretch this 60 kilometer stretch at its normal speed the train would have covered in 60 minutes so 60 kilometers would have been covered in 60 minutes or the normal speed of the train the normal speed of the train hence is 60 kilometers per hour okay. so now that we have the speed let us try to find the length of the journey Okay, to calculate the distance of the journey or the length of the journey, let us go through the data again. One of the things which was mentioned out here was that 
train stopped for 45 minutes after the accident. Which means out of these 90 minutes of delay, 45 minutes is due to in reduced speed and 45 minutes is due to stoppage. Similarly, out of these 60 minutes of delay, 45 minutes is due to stoppage and 15 minutes is due to delay or the slow speed. Okay. The difference or rather, rather the reduction in speed leading to loss of time over the 60 kilometers is still 30 minutes only. That does not change. Okay. Now you can calculate the distance in two different ways. Let's say from A to the point where the accident takes place. From A to X. The distance covered was at the rate of 60 kilometers per hour for 30 minutes. So AX is equal to 30 kilometers. Because the speed is the normal speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. And X to Y we know is equal to. Again, 60 kilometers as per the question it is given to us. So, you need to find what is y to b. The delay over this distance is 15 minutes. So, the normal time should have been 30 minutes. If you remember correctly, a little while ago we said t by 2 is equal to delay. Since the speed has become 3 by 2 times, sorry, speed has become 2 by 3 times, the time taken will be 3 by 2 times. So, if the normal time is t, the new time will be 3 by 2 t minus the normal time. So, normal time by 2 is the delay, is equal to delay. Or the normal time should be twice into delay. So, over this stretch, the delay is of 15 minutes. So, the normal time was 30 minutes. If the normal time was 30 minutes, this should again be 30 kilometers. At the speed of 30, 60 kilometers per hour, so your answer could be 120 kilometers. Alternately, you could still say that AX is equal to 30 kilometers and calculate XB straight away. The delay over XB is 45 minutes. The delay from X to B is 45 minutes. 45 minutes on account of stoppage and 45 minutes on, on account of reduced speed. So on account of reduced speed is 45 minutes delay or the normal time for this stretch would have been 90 minutes. If the normal time was 90 minutes then at the rate of 60 kilometers per hour the time the distance would have been 90 kilometers or 120 kilometers is the answer. Among the choices, choice B becomes the correct one. Please go through this question again. This can be a little confusing. Please be clear about the various aspects of this question.